What is good YouTube family? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be unboxing two shoes that I think are going to be summer bangers. Come on, tune in right after this. Good YouTube family, welcome back to the channel. If you didn't know by now, my name is Josh, also known as Out of Stock Kicks. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button, turn on the notifications, and smash that like button because you know it helps out your boy in the YouTube algorithm. We are about 30 to 40 subs away from 1,000. I appreciate all y'all that have supported us. If you could right now, hit that subscribe button because we are going to be doing a giveaway right when we hit it. I appreciate y'all and we're going to get straight into this video. All right, like I said in the intro, today we're going to be unboxing two shoes that just got released on the Nike sneakers app. One, people got exclusive access to, and I want to just give you a first hand in look in terms of what you'll be getting if you're going to be paying resale or whatnot. So let's get straight into it. Okay, now shoe number one, it comes in that Jordan box. Um, this one seems a little bit smaller and there's a reason for that it is because this one is actually a women's pair so this specific shoe it is the white particle gray women's air jordan one low og this is actually a revamp of a pair that came out in 2015 and let's just pop it open i really like these to be honest and i think a lot of people are going to be rocking the shoe out there in the summertime when everything clears up again but we just have this the iconic jordan one look in the neutral colorway so as you guys know, this is very, very similar to the high top. I'm gonna post right here, the high top neutral. Um, they dropped it into the low and basically I wanted just to highlight it. I think it's very, very simple, clean colorway. You got that all white leather. Leather is pretty good condition. You have that silver lining here and then you have that neutral gray hit on that Nike swoosh. So definitely think that a lot of people are gonna be rocking this one. 2015, they did have a pair just like this. On this liner though, I'm hoping that it's not as uncomfortable as it looks like. A lot of people have mentioned that it doesn't feel as good as opposed to as the ones but i still definitely think i could see people rocking this heavy denim rocking this and then you have that that hit on that nike ton that i love so much so i don't know what you guys think about this shoe definitely like uh, what nike is doing with the re-releasing on the ones to a certain extent just kind of depends on what they're dropping but Tell me what you guys think about these. I have a personal pair. Actually, I got lucky. Let me show that screenshot. I hit today on a personal size 10. Let me see if I can pull that up real quick. I was very surprised this morning at 7 a.m. and I popped it open and I got that got him. So definitely cool to see. My Nike sneakers app is not broken and definitely gonna be rocking these. So let me know what y'all think. Got that great hit on the back. For sure gonna keep them. <laughs> All right, and now for the second pair. This pair I've had for about a month early and y'all saw my boy, uh, Jumperman Chris. But this pair specifically went crazy on TikTok. I don't know what it is about it. Very white. So the theme of this video is white and gray. I think that's going to be the summer colors for sure. But this box is a little bit different. You got that cement print on the, on the box here. And then you have a white top with the red. It's kind of like red or orange. And I think the reason why for that is because of the tech red that they use. Tech gray. Red Tech, that's what it is. So this is the colorway that's gonna be on the specific shoe. But let's pop this open. I really like this shoe. Gonna probably have to size up on these because the fours that I've had before ran a little small, but whew, I'm gonna pop this open. So this shoe is the white Oreo, reminiscent of the Oreo that re-released back in the, I believe the 2010s. And this one specifically is gonna be something that a lot of people are gonna go crazy for. You have the number one thing that I'm gonna talk about right here is the quality of the leather. Uh, hopefully you can see this in the video, but very, very good leather, I would say so. You have a full white leather background here, and then on the midsole, you have that speckling of the, the gray and the cement, the Oreo on it, and then you have it also on the eyelets here. So definitely a very clean shoe. You have on the tongue right here is the red tech gray that I was talking about, or the tech red that they utilize for it. And I think it's a very good classic hit. And then you have that back, the Jumpman logo in the gray colorway. And I definitely think that a lot of people are gonna be rocking this outside in the summertime, you know, especially with the vibes that's been happening. I know for sure I'll be copping a personal. These should be releasing July 3rd. So make sure you guys are aware of what happens uh, on your sneakers app. There's been a lot of conspiracy happening of how you get early access and making sure that you stay in tune with your sneakers app. But 
a lot, I'm sure a lot of YouTubers already talked about that. So this one, I just want to talk about the suggested retail price is $190. It's very, very common for all the different fours that's happening. Air Jordan 4 Retro. So I definitely think that these two shoes, you're going to be seeing a lot of people rock them. Uh, Quantity is probably going to be up there. So wouldn't be surprised that these will be like a common shoe, but, but definitely you see the vibes here. You have the gray and the neutral gray all coming out in the next couple days separated. So uh, what do you guys think? Let me know. Did you guys cop on these? Did you get an L? Would you guys pay resale for these? I'm not going to go too much into the resale value because we all know exactly what numbers these are going to be pushing. Say around like the 300 range and this one probably like at the 190. I'm going to be investing in these just because the simplicity of this one and how cheap they are. But let me know what you guys think. So um, this is going to be a very quick episode. Just wanted to kind of show you my thoughts on these ones. And these ones probably gonna have these two pairs in my personal we'll keep it short like that again we are in route to 1000 and i think if we can get as many comments down below we'll do a 25 dollars cash out just to see exactly what um, comments we get below so make sure you comment here like subscribe everything you guys do to help out this channel i appreciate y'all i love y'all and always remember y'all stay in stock without a stock kicks peace